Finally, in December 2000, Chernobyl shut down for good. The Ukrainian government estimates that at least 8,000 people have died as a result of the catastrophe. But the United Nations believes it's still too early to establish the true picture. One thing, however, is certain. In the worst affected areas, the rate of thyroid cancer in children and teenagers has risen over 100 times. The disaster forced the Soviet Union to modify all reactors of a similar design to ensure its horror could never be repeated. Today, 200 tons of uranium and nearly a ton of deadly plutonium remain inside the destroyed reactor. In 1997, a group of 28 nations, including the United States, agreed to fund a 10-year plan for a long-term solution to Chernobyl. A 20,000-ton steel arch will completely enclose Chernobyl's Reactor 4. It'll cost a massive $768 million. A key part of the new project are the four giant cranes in the ceiling of the new shell. They're capable of breaking down the wreckage and removing radioactive dust. When complete, the hope is that the radioactive threat of Chernobyl can finally be defeated.